Hello there, I am coming at you from my kitchen. This is actually my first video that I am making for my YouTube channel. So my name's Kelly Graytalk. I'm a plastic surgery recovery nurse. I am cooking and making soup for my next client and I wanted to take this opportunity. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but um, I am making um, homemade chicken noodle soup. So anyways, I wanted to take the opportunity to tell you how you can fuel your recovery, have the best recovery at home after plastic surgery. I love plastic surgery. I've been doing this for specifically for a few years now, and I love helping people get a great result and just have a wonderful recovery. A lot of people are very like anxiety ridden and just really nervous about having um, their procedure. And a little bit of that is normal, but um, it does not have to be something scary. And it's actually super exciting. And the more you prepare, the better you'll feel afterwards and the better result you'll have. So I created this channel. I have a, you know, really... Um, uh, great Instagram feed, but I'm trying to just reach more people and just I know that when I Want to find out information how to I usually go to YouTube. So here I am So, um, I was going to chop and talk at the same time, but I think that may not be the safest situation. So um, I'm gonna just chat with you for a little bit. So what I want to tell you is this um, The more the more preparation you can put into what you're gonna eat after surgery the better I would also tell you one thing I find that my clients do is after surgery, they get home and they may have planned on eating all these great things. And with my guidance, they may, may be super excited to meal prep, which I love. I love that when people do that. So meal prep, they freeze things, they um, have all this great food cut up and ready to go. And then for some reason, whether it be anesthesia wearing off, um, whether it be they haven't eaten since the night before the surgery, whether it be um, they're just relieved it's over, whether it be they're not feeling their best, they really, people really do struggle with kind of resorting to comfort foods. You know what your comfort foods are, you know, when you're not feeling good, um, and not really when you're not sick feeling good, but when you're just not feeling your best, when you're stressed, when you're having a bad day, most people don't make the healthiest food choices in those situations. So they want something that's gonna make them feel better and a lot of times they don't turn to the best foods that are gonna be good for your recovery. So my advice would be to go ahead and make all the healthy stuff, you never know, um, and hopefully you after a while will realize that that's gonna make you feel better and then you'll have that ready. But definitely think of you, you know yourself better than anyone, what are your comfort foods? You know, let's say it's macaroni and cheese, okay? Um, which, you know, I try to steer people away against a lot of dairy because dairy can cause nausea. So just be careful with that. But let's just use that as, as an example. If you know yourself and you're like, I'm gonna want some macaroni and cheese after my surgery, take that macaroni and cheese, put a healthy spin on it, um, add a bunch of vegetables, add a bunch of lean meats, whatever you can do to kind of beef it up and make it something healthier. That way you're kind of getting, getting the best bang for your buck, so to speak. Um, obviously, I think it's obvious, but I, that's why I'm making this, I should tell you. So if you're having any surgery above the neck, you're definitely gonna want to avoid um, spicy food. You're gonna want small, you know, ch really easy to chew foods, things like that, soups, um, applesauce, yogurt, careful with the dairy, but there's a lot of non-dairy type yogurts out there and even they have probiotics, things like that. Um, so those are great options. And then um, you just want to really make sure you're prepared, clear soda, just in case of nausea, those crackers, uh, the crackers that really kind of, you bite into them and they kind of dissolve in your mouth. Those are great to have on hand just in case. And those are mainly kind of nausea fighting foods that you want to just have, uh, be able to grab those. But there are tons of foods on the market right now. Go to your farmer's market, go to your healthy food store and talk to one of the salespeople and just say, here is what I like. Do you have any suggestions that kind of might fulfill, fulfill that need, but also you know, be something healthier that's gonna really fuel your recovery? Your body wants protein, you're gonna want high fiber so you don't get constipated. I could go on and on, but I'm gonna stop it there and tell you, if you sign up for my email list, I have, it's not about nutrition, some of it's about nutrition, but, Top five things to do to get a fantastic recovery at home after plastic surgery. Sign up for my email list. Um, my link is in my bio and uh, yeah, it, it applies to everybody. That is one, um, one of my kind of top things that applies to anybody, whether you're having a tummy tuck, gynecomastia surgery, facelift, 
uh, liposuction, anything, it will apply to everything. So as I'm supposed to say, if you like my content, uh, subscribe to my list and I have a bunch of other videos I'm going to be uploading, but this was my first official one that I made for YouTube. So I'm happy to be here. I'm passionate about this. I, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Um, my website has my email address. I also have a video series that has seven videos and an ebook and a bunch of printables to really help you get super prepared and have a great recovery at home. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop talking because I could keep going. Have a great day.